Hello everyone and a warm welcome. We're at the King Power Stadium in the East Midlands for this one. My name is Derek Ray and sitting alongside me in the commentary box providing expert analysis is Stuart Robson and getting ready for a potentially thrilling contest. Stuart, your expectations? Well Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Number seven, Harvey Barnes. And number ten, James Madison. Well, here's how Leicester City will line up. Kasper Schmeichel stands between the posts. Wilfred and Didi starts with Yuri Tielemans in the centre of midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And introducing the visitors' lineup today. Rui Patricio stands between the posts. Lorenzo Pellegrini plays with Henrik Mikitarian in the centre of midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Thank you, King Power Stadium. Enjoy the game. And this confrontation is underway. And a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. Brian Tristante. Well, there's something wonderfully artistic about James Madison and his overall game. Stewart, what part might he play in this match? Now, far from a smooth challenge. Now, will the referee produce a card? And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. And that was a very fine read. Nicolo Zaniolo. Here's Cristante. Pellegrini. Excellent vision. Able to get his body in the way. Thomas might be able to produce from this position. Leicester now in a potentially dangerous position. Madison still level here, but the pressure escalating. Barnes. Chance to cross. The inside route looks promising. What a vital intervention. Goalkeeper getting in the way. Superb save. Short corner favoured. Cuts it back. Another chance for them again to play it over from the corner flag. It's a short one. That's someone to play it to. Well, able to close down the short. That's fine play to keep control of the ball. 
Well, he tried in vain to get himself back onside. Well, he needs to show greater awareness there and hold on to the ball a fraction longer. Karsdorp. Abraham. Here's Cristante. Rick Karsdorp. Well, that's gone out, and it is going to be a goal kick. Well, Leicester have certainly dominated possession over the last 15 minutes. You sense it's inevitable the goal will come. It'll be certainly no less than they deserve. They just need to be a bit more clinical in that final third now. Oh, marvellous save. Great goalkeeping. And a short corner, let's see. He cuts it back. Ndidi. Perfect tackle. Mikitarian. Not there to intercept. Madison. Lookman cutting the ball back. Real chance and turned onto the woodwork. Danger averted. Well, they might be piling on the pressure, but they've got to make it count in those situations, that's for sure. Nicolo Zaniolo. Now can they counter clinically? Tammy Abraham. Mickey Tarian! And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. Yeah, here's the setup play. Well, it's a great little back heel, isn't it? And it's a very tidy finish because there's still a lot of work to do. That's a really good goal. underway again and certainly the onus is on Leicester to come up with a reply here we've had the official word there will be a minimum of two added minutes Ndidi Madison with it a chance then for the respective managers to address their charges it is half time here well a positive display from Henrik Mikitarian. Stuart he's delivering well, Derek, after a slow start where he was tightly marked, he got better and better as the first half went on, and he got his reward with that goal. I'm looking forward to his second half display. So the second half underway with Leicester behind. Can they turn this game around? And back with Thomas. Lookman. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it.
Nicolo Zaniolo. Patient enough build up. Can they carve out a chance? Pellegrini. Karsdorp. Abraham. Mikitarian. Flinging himself at it, the keeper. And over it comes. Defensive excellence there. Making sure nothing came of it. Can't argue with that little move. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Thomas now. James Madison. Well, there you have it. Leicester have controlled most of the possession, but they aren't doing enough with it. They need to pass it quicker, play forward earlier and show more energy. Otherwise, they won't get back into this one. Smalling. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Madison, it did look on for them, but not to be. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. And they will make the change now. We saw the situation developing. James Madison. Well, what a brilliant atmosphere we've got here. These Leicester fans deserve an equaliser, that's for sure. So nearing the end and Leicester City behind in this one, Stuart. Well, they've certainly lacked a goal threat up to this point. There's been little invention, no real combination play around the box and the crosses have been erratic but there is still time to find that moment of inspiration. That's a useful cross. Vertu. Lorenzo Pellegrini with it. Rick Karsdorp. Now with Abraham. Nicolo Zaniolo. Pellegrini. He could pick out a teammate, but strong defending. Another goal from this corner would in all likelihood secure victory. And time for the change now. Favouring the short one. Excellent refereeing. Advantage in operation. But it didn't end up being a significant advantage. And so a free kick here. And going short with it. So two minutes to be added on at the end. 
A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Chance to cross. Tielemans. Lukman. Ricardo Pereira. And a significant block following that cross. And that is the end of the game. The referee blows for full time. And not exactly the result Leicester City fans were hoping for. A defeat for them. Your assessment of the performance. Well, Derek, it was a poor result, but it was a really tight contest. Both sides had their chances, could have gone either way, but in the end, they will be disappointed. Well, we all know, don't we, that Henrik Mikitan can be such a dynamic player and showing plenty of dynamism here, Stuart. Well, I enjoyed watching him today. His work rate, skill and movement were excellent, and he fully deserved to score that winning goal.